Here's two techniques to measure the Thevenin resistance of a circuit directly. First, we need to be working with a linear circuit for this technique to work. The terminal voltage and current would be labeled in the standard configuration as I'm indicating here. Linear means that the voltage current characteristic is a straight line. Now the Thevenin equivalent circuit at the terminals has a Thevenin voltage source, VTH, and a Thevenin equivalent resistance, RTH. Now these two circuit elements model the behavior of the general or the generic circuit. Now here's the first method to measure the Thevenin resistance. We begin by setting the current equal to zero. And we can do this by connecting an open circuit, if you will. Or another way to say that is simply leave the circuit uh, disconnected. Next, measure the open circuit voltage called VOC, and you can do this with a digital multimeter. Since the current is zero, that means we have zero drop across the Thevenin resistance, and whatever value we have for the Thevenin voltage appears directly at the output terminals. So from this we can write that the open circuit voltage is equal to the Thevenin voltage. Next, set the voltage equal to zero, and we can do this by connecting a wire between the terminals or we would say we connect a short circuit across the terminals. Now a strong word of warning on this when you're in the laboratory or using physical equipment. Do not, I repeat, do not try this on any device capable of driving high currents. That would be things like power supplies and batteries and so forth or any device that you do not fully understand. For example, do not connect a short circuit across the output of your expensive stereo amplifier. Then measure the short circuit current that flows through this wire. And you can use a DMM configured as an ammeter for that purpose. Now the short circuit current relates to the Thevenin equivalent circuit as the Thevenin voltage divided by the Thevenin resistance. We can then use that fact to calculate the Thevenin resistance as Thevenin voltage or open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. All right, here's a second method that you can try. First, measure the open circuit voltage. And again, as I mentioned earlier, that's the same thing as the Thevenin voltage. Then connect a variable resistor such as a potentiometer. Adjust the potentiometer until the measured voltage is one half of your earlier measured voltage for the open circuit voltage. Why one half? Why is that significant? Well, we know that the voltage that appears across your potentiometer or variable resistor is related according to a two resistor voltage divider. 
In this case, each resistor drops exactly half of the source voltage, V thevenin. Therefore, the two resistors have the same value. So you can then remove the potentiometer from the circuit and then measure its resistance with the DMM configured as an ohmmeter. This measured value is the Thevenin resistance.